Hello my friends and welcome to another video and this time it's a first for me because I am doing my July favourites. I've never done a favourites video. Let's see how this goes. Before I start I just want to apologise once again for the lighting because once again I'm filming this video far too late because I have really bad organisation. So July has been a very busy month for me and there's been a lot of things that I've been liking so I thought I'd just share them with you. So the first thing I've been liking, I've had for quite a long time but for some reason just in July I've just started to like it a lot so it's this. This is Rimmel's Lasting Finish 100 Kisses, it's a lip tint. It's a lip tint and balm so basically you use this, well I first started off putting the tint on first and using the balm but the balm rubbed it all off so that was pointless. You use a little bit at the top to put it over your lips and make them all nice and moist. And then you use this bit on top and it gives you the colour. And I already have some colour on my lips. I mean, my lips aren't pale, they're quite dark already. But this just gives it a really nice sort of pinky finish, like a corally sort of colour. And I've been really, really liking it and I've been using it quite a lot. And it's really weird because certain coloured shirts you use, they bring out different tones. Like black, it makes it really sort of pinky, peachy. And like white makes it look slightly different and brown makes it look slightly different. So it's a really good versatile product that's really quick, really easy and I've been using a lot. Second thing I've been using that's been fashion-y sort of beauty again and it is these shoes. Um, my sister got these pa a similar pair to this from Miss Guy did, and I wasn't gonna get. I didn't get them for ages because like I don't want to annoy her because she's got them and they were like so precious to her, and if I got them she'd be really annoyed. Then I got to the point I was like planning out for. I was like, if only I had those shoes, they'd go so well. And so I finally thought, you know what, I'm gonna just have to get them. So I was in New Look one day, ordered them in, and yeah, these are New Look ones, and they're really good because they have a sort of platformed effect and it's got a slight heel but the heel's sort of boosted by this platform and I'm not the sh I'm not the tallest person okay I'm five foot two I'm not very tall and these are quite good to wear on a casual basis because they give you some height but they aren't too extreme so I've been wearing these a lot especially in one of my favourites which I'll be talking about later. On to music favourites and one song I've been singing and dancing to and just listening to and playing constantly is Problem by Ariana Grande and Iggy Azalea. I mean, I'm, no, it's not the usual stuff I like. I'm not a very poppy girl, but I do like a variety of music. And this song, I heard it, and I was just like, oh my god, this is amazing. And I've just been listening to it on repeat, on repeat. It's just so unique that like, the trumpets and, like, like, yeah, the lyrics aren't the most clever in the world, but her voice is fantastic. And I have a thing, I just have some sort of weird sort of guilty pleasure for um, Iggy Azalea's rapping. I don't know why, it's just, I just really like it and I just love the video, it's really sort of retro and I just love everything about it and I've just been constantly dancing to it and it's just, I love it so much. Now to the educational side of things, I've got a book favourite. <laughs> now my book favourite is kind of weird, it's, it's not something I usually read. Now unfortunately I don't have the book with me because I rented it out, the li rented it, <laughs> I borrowed it from the library and it went back a couple of weeks ago because obviously I can't keep it forever, it's a library book. But I, I didn't think I'd enjoy it, but it was such a good book because I'm interested in history and I got to learn about the Mexican Civil War, which I never learned about. But it's just so uniquely written, it's all set out like a cooking book and each chapter's a month and it has recipes in it, it's all described really weird and it's this type of book called Magic Realism which is so unique and it was just such a cleverly written book and it was so tragic, like the main character is so tragic but it was also so funny at the same time, it was such a good book and I really really recommend it and it's not very long so it won't take you long to read either Another one of my recent favourites which has been foodie is a brand of cookies called Ben's Cookies. Now I heard about them in a um, vlog that, of Tanya's, um, Tanya Burr that I watched a couple of um, weeks ago. And recently I came across one of their shops and I was like, oh my god, Tanya Burr talked about these, I want to try them and their cookies looked amazing. So I got one a couple of days ago and oh my god guys, you need to go there and try it. They are incredible. I got a milk chocolate and orange one and immediately I was like that sounds amazing because I love milk chocolate and orange but honestly it was so soft and the outside was really crunchy, it was really gooey and it was massive lump of chocolate oh, oh god it was so good! I really recommend them, they are so nice and I plan on buying one again in the future because it was amazing and my final favourites are quite weird because they're things I've done recently that I want to share with you. Um, the first one was part of my school, but in the first, like, the last week of our um, school term, in the last, 
In the last week of term, um, for the whole school year, we have a week of really fun events. One of them was Olympiad, which is a memory skills day, which was really fun because I got to be a mentor and go around and experience all the activities while being a Karen out of Nick and Karen from The Apprentice and judging the form I've been given, which was fun. The second event was Sports Day, which obviously every school has, but it was just really fun. I'm a house officer, so I got to do a lot of cheering and rallying the crowds and everything, and it was just an amazing day, and it was really hot, and it was really nice. My favourite day out of all of them was the third day, which is House Arts Day, because I'm just much more of an arty person, so that I enjoy that day more. But I ended up doing five events, including the House Choir, and it was just so fun, running between the activities, doing a recorder solo, doing a piano solo which was amazing even though I came second but I, I came second to a worthy winner so I'm not really complaining. And then I was also in the instrumental ensemble which we had to run to but my favourite part was that um, it was a house band, it was like a rock or pop band and my friends had started organising this on the Monday before because there was no one doing it and I kind of said oh I'll do it and then ended up doing the piano for it and it was honestly one of my favourite experiences. I've never performed in a band before and it was just amazing. Like when you come out you feel like you've done that because you're not by yourself, you've done it as part of a team, it feels more comfortable, you feel more like, a, like more celebratory once you've done it and it was just amazing and I really enjoyed it. And we came joint first, ended up performing in assembly on the Friday and we were overall out of all the House Arts Day competitors ranked third, which considering we put it together on Monday, we are all just like, I'm sorry, what? It was amazing and I'm so proud of the guys who put it together, like they were all amazing, like it was such a good team effort and I'm just so happy about it. And my final um, favourite is what happened last week which is my work experience that I had to get um, as part of my school course. I was meant to get it a few weeks ago but um, they, my com the company I got it with couldn't do that week so I ended up doing it last week. I did it with a company called The Farm Group which is a post-production company based in Soho and they edit like a really massive range of um, TV shows and I didn't think I'd get it but a few months ago I sent off an asking if I could have work experience I sent up they sent me back a form which I filled in and then I went for an interview and I was like oh my god um, and during the interview they said I was one of the youngest applicants I was like oh no I'm not gonna get it I really want it and I did and I was so happy and it was the, one of the best weeks I've had so far Oh, the first day it was like handing out tea and coffee but I got to talk to people who were in the company, find out about what they did to get there. I ended up going into studios by the end of the week, witnessing the whole processes like from sound to like, um, video and like preparing the tapes and that. It was incredible and I know that's what I want to do now and it was just an amazing week. And I'm going to leave it there because that was one of my, my last favourites and it was the most recent favourite I've experienced. So thank you for watching this little video guys. I know it probably wasn't very long but it was worth just telling you some of my favourites and I've never done a favourite video before and I really like them. I might do them more often. Like, I might do an August one because a lot's going to happen in August. Not like really significant things like going on holiday, meeting with friends, probably trying new foods because food, holidays, yee. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, because I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. Um, not I didn't enjoy my video, I enjoyed making the video. <laughs> I'm not that vain. Um, and please subscribe to my channel and I hope I'll be filming another video soon and I'll see you soon guys. So until next time, goodbye! Oh, oh sugar! <laughs> Hashtag water nearly falls off the store. So June has... No, it's not even June. I've just started to look, I've just started to look, oh my god, my, my arms look so orange, I haven't fake tanned guys, I'd like to clarify that, I have not fake tanned, because that was my one of my favourite series, please give me this,